The Council of Europe is an organisation of more than 40 states. It was formed to promote European unity, protect human rights and facilitate social and economic progress. The Council of Europe was established in 1949, initially by 10 West European states. It has devised international agreements on human rights and established a number of special bodies and expert committees on social issues. The headquarters of the Council of Europe is in the Palace of Europe in Strasbourg, France. The official languages are English and French. What is its purpose? The Council of Europe is an international organisation established in the wake of World War II to firstly uphold human rights, secondly promote democracy and thirdly promote the rule of law in Europe. As of 2023, it brings together 46 member states with a population of approximately 680 million people. It operates with an annual budget of approximately 500 million euros. The Council of Europe is an official United Nations Observer member. The best known body of the Council of Europe, and which is most salient here, is the European Court of Human Rights, which functions on the basis of the European Convention of Human Rights, which was established in 1950. Three. The Council's two statutory bodies are the Committee of Ministers, which comprises the Foreign Minister of each Member State, and the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, which is composed of members of the national parliaments of each Member State. The Commissioner for Human Rights is an institution within the Council of Europe mandated to promote awareness and respect for human rights within the Member States. The Council of Europe is arguably Europe's leading human rights organisation and the world's leading human rights organisation. All Council Europe member states have signed up to the aforementioned European Convention on Human Rights, a treaty designed to protect human rights, democracy and the rule of law. The European Court of Human Rights, which sits in Strasbourg, is the creature of the Council of Europe. Furthermore, the European Court of Human Rights has been adopted as a normative and precedent setting organisation for the purposes of interpreting the European Union's Charter of Fundamental Rights. So the European Court of Human Rights performs two tasks. It performs the task of adjudicating on human rights within the member states and it provides the task of adjudicating on fundamental rights within the member states of the European Union. Thank you very much.